Hi guys, and welcome to Finish It Friday, episode 43. So here's where we left off on Wednesday with your base card, your layer that's one down, and then your two DSPs, one that's two and a half by five and a fourth, one that is two and a half by four. All right, now I, of course though, and we're gonna be making duplicates because I did it that way. All right, and I'm actually going to see if I like it with, I don't think I am. <laughs> Isn't it funny how you can just tell that you're not going to like something? So I'm going to go ahead and grab out, I don't know what that color is. Oh, that's Pool Party. This is Balmy Blue. This is Pool Party. All right, we'll leave out Pool Party. Cool. All right, so these are the two cards that we're going to do with our bases okay so with these you're going to see and i like turning them so that you see especially when you have two different ones the different patterns and decide which i like the best so on this i think i like matchy matchy I think I like this because you have some of that coral in there so that pulls that in so I think I like that one like that this is my base like this so I think on this one I'm gonna do it's a little strong but I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do on this one all right so on this one right here we're just gonna go ahead and put it down the way it is so let's grab out adhesive oh, goodness I still have anything in that corner it's like the Bermuda Triangle it doesn't want to go let me grab this because I like having an edge when I do these to make sure I'm straight straight down there and then let's go ahead and go right here I'm not pushing it down yet I want to make sure I like how that looks all right so there's that let's go ahead and put it Ooh. Put it on here I do have a little piece that's hanging over I didn't get it quite straight I'm gonna just take my snips and get that off and get that little bit off there I'm gonna put it back to its holder all right so then I'm gonna line this up put it down like that all right Let's go ahead and work on this other one. Then we'll work on the sediments at the same time. So on this one, I was telling you how I don't know if I really like that, that crushed curry. It's kind of like dominating in my opinion. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to take this and I'm going to cut this in half. So bring my trimmer back out here and I'm going to go half of that because this is two and a half inch wide. It's going to be one and a fourth, and it moved on me. And I'm just going to do it like this and see then if I like then how that looks, having a little bit of space in between it. And I do like that better. Okay, so that's how I'm going to do it. So see, it was just too much to be all together. So I like having it this way. So let's go ahead and we're going to adhere these down. See if I can do a better job. Let me bring it down in the corner. Maybe that'll work. All right. Let me go ahead on each end. All right. And yes, you could kind of look at these lines too to keep them straight, but usually if 
you have it down here, it's going to end up being straight with that card anyway. So that's in the corner. I'm not really adhering it down yet. There we go. Now I'm adhering that down. Let me get my little piece here. All right. So now let's see how much I want to. Well, I guess it's going to be there. I didn't hover enough. All right. There you are there. Let's go ahead and put this down. Oh, I can double check to see if I had any edges. Oops. I have a little bit hanging over right there. All right. That looks like that's it. All right, so here's our two different cards using that same uh, same layout, but this one we cut in half. Let's go ahead and grab out let's see this I think I want it to match. I'm going to my second layer down scraps that I have in here. So I think, I think on both of these, I'm going to do the balmy blue as the outside of my sediment. And then I'll do vanilla for the inside. All right. So let's see. So here's this. Let me grab out my Wraps and pick out a vanilla that's going to be big enough. No, that's not big enough. See, this is a problem with a scrap pile. It's hard to see in here. All right, here's some berry vanilla. I think that's going to be big enough to do the circle. Nope, not really. All right, so I might just end up doing white. You don't want to sit here. Ah, here we go. So I say, I could look through my scrap piles forever, unfortunately. All right, so we're going to do this in the vanilla. We're going to do the circle in the balmy blue. Because apparently I didn't grab pool party. I grabbed balmy blue. Is balmy blue? Yeah, see, and pool party is the color in there. But balmy blue, I think, looks fine. Yeah, it's fine. All right, so let's go ahead and stamp with these. Now, for the sayings, I'm going to be using the cheerful daisies. Now, this is the one, well, one of the stamp sets. That is a bundle, but I didn't buy it as a bundle. Yes, the dies are fabulous, great, and all that. I just like the stamps themselves because I'm not going to be cutting out. You know me. I like flowers, but I like quick and easy flowers. And to me, this seemed like a lot of work. Um, so that's why I got the stamp set. The dies are beautiful, though, and it looks great when you're layering them and all. I just wanted this to make background papers and because of the sayings. All right, I don't think this birthday one will, oh, it will go on. Perfect, because you know me, I'm always looking for birthday greetings. So we'll do them both as wishing you the brightest birthday. I should have had my piercing mat, but I'm risking it. And the reason why I should have my piercing mat is because this is a photopolymer stamp and usually it works a little bit better when you use that mat with it. 
All right, let's go ahead, put this on the pool party. I need to cut some Lost Lagoon faces. And then I'm going to figure out where I want to put this. Because I'm going to pop it up. Now, time for me to bring out some more uh, pop-up dots. Because as you can see here, I'm just left with the edges. But it's all right because the edges work. Use every little bit. Don't just use those dimensionals and throw the edges away. You can use them too. I said I wanted it to be there. And now on this one, I do have some pop-up dots left. So let's go ahead and use those. Oh my goodness, sorry. And I'm going to see how that's a little busy there. I'm going to put that right over there to help soften that. Okay, so that can be thrown away. That has a few more still to use. All right. And now for the gems. I went a little crazy when we had free shipping and got a bunch of gems. So these are the opaque ovals. So I don't know if you can see. Um... But then they have these tinsel jam packs, the three pack and the four pack. Love, love, love them. So here's the four pack. The four pack has all of those colors. The three pack has all of these colors. Just love them. All right, so let me grab out my take your pick tool. On this, I think I'm going to do... <laughs> I think I'm going to do a blue right there. And I think I'm going to do a yellow right there in the center of that flower. And then another one right there. Okay, on this one, a little bit darker. Let me go ahead and I'm going to use that dark green because it kind of mimics that even though it's not. Uh, bring that in for the center of that flower and then I'm going to grab one of these for down here in the corner all right let me set those aside all right let's go ahead let me pull this off let's go ahead and show you the others now this I did with the inked botanicals uh, paper my examples I all did with the hello irresistible am I saying that right let me see if I can find it yep hello irresistible which was an online exclusive and was available when I recorded this video um, so I'm hoping it's still available when this is actually scheduled and playing, but I guess we'll see, right? All right, so here's these. Here's another one just doing now this one. I also used, this is still that Cheerful Daisies, but this is actually the Petal Park Builder, the punch. All right, so here we have all of these are going to be that Hello Irresistible with that Pillow Park Builder. There you are. So you can see you can stamp right on the DSP. You can stamp here. I stamped on the DSP. I did not layer here. I stamped on the vanilla, but I layered on the DSP. So you can see all of those are kind of like that. Then on these, where here I split that in two, here I actually 
and let me go ahead and put these uh oh i hear my husband and my daughter talking great uh here i actually cut both of the five and a four and the four in half and did some weaving all right guys thanks for joining me on this friday take care we hope to see you on the weekend and give me a thumbs up if you're so inclined all right thanks a lot guys talk to you later bye